Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Let's go. Mini Minter joining me today. Sorry, this is late. This podcast yeah, is late. Yeah, it's late. Sam was on his period. <laughs> I don't know why. What? Oh, my God. That's not, that's not the way I want to start this. I've been thinking all week, how do I start this podcast? And that was not it. Simon's on his period. Yeah, I, I, hate, I hate what I've just said. I hate it. Can we, read? <laughs> we don't, we, we don't redo nope. the intros. We always nope. run with it. Yeah. But we're a little bit late this week. It's been a busy start to the year, actually, mm-hmm. which we'll get through in this podcast. This, what happens when we don't film often is we get back for the first time with like so many things to talk about. We can't even fit it in. That's what John said. Um, and sorry. that's a compliment. Yeah, that is a compliment. And th- well, and then uh, like the next week is like hmm. nothing. Yet. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 <laughs> but we have got the Discord started now for what's good. So make sure you guys join that in the description. We asked you guys a bunch of different topics. So later on in the podcast today, we're going to bring the what's good section back. Woo! I, don't ha- I don't have the light anymore. That was fun, wasn't it? I used to turn the light on and off. Oh yeah. Oh well. I could do that actually off my phone. I could technically do that. Nah. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> then we also have, what else we have? We've got YouTube titles where you guys gave us some like YouTube titles and we're going to rate them and like say how we think the video could, could could happen. And then there's some fake sayings. And I think, do you want us to guess if the sayings are real or not, Nick? Or just, uh, we just- No, isn't it make up what they mean? Yeah. yeah I think make up sure, what they mean. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So anyway, we're starting to bring back some more, you know, user engagement into this, you know? Look at user the, engagement. Fellas gave us a six out of 10. We're trying to raise that the same thing. They gave us a seven. Oh, seven, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's some bias there. I think they wouldn't have said seven if they weren't on camera. I think they gave bars to most people. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true, true. So we got the, one of the lowest ones yeah. still. But, the, set is, um, the set's still being worked on. Uh, it is. John took, a, took some time off. I don't know. Yeah, he was training for a fight, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so 100%. I, apparently, I've started some sort of war between John and Proddy C. Um, Proddy C called out John for a fight, and I'm saying, John, shouldn't do it anyway. Because oh, why not? You've been in like main channel Sidemen videos, right? He's small time. Mm. You're, you're big time now. You yeah. are you are getting bigger like for your boots, but also your boots are growing. <laughs> so you're not too big. We're for- already at the fake saying part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not too big for your boots. Your boots are just right, but <laughs> but your feet are, are getting bigger. I anyway, I, I don't know. I love it though because these. But apparently, Proddy and John just hate each other now for no reason. They're both really nice people. No, mate, I love him. I love him. <laughs> I just don't think there's any point in fighting someone who's already lost a fight. You know? oh, like, I want to fight a winner. <laughs> this might actually happen. This actually might happen because they hate each other. <laughs> There's no better way to start like a misfits like fight when they actually hate each other. That's the they best. They <laughs> hate each other. I think they do. <laughs> mate, mate, do you know what the he's thing a, is? He's a dad. The other guy's a vegan. Yeah. Like... No, he's not actually. His girlfriend is. <laughs> oh, yeah. That counts. Yeah. Um... <laughs> mate, do you know what the thing is? The other reason is literally only one per- James Frames is the only person who meant. The only reason I know he called me out is because James mentioned it. No one else has DM'd me or anything. There is no interest <laughs> in this happening. That's the thing. Well, now there I'm is. I'm not going to lie. There's not much interest. No, there's not. There's, no, no, don't, don't do it. You guys, you got, what you should do is you should get on like a, get, go, go have a drink together and hash it out. I can mediate if you want. I love, I love to mediate what? you guys. <laughs> mediate what? what though? What is this I make for? it worse. I make it worse. No, no, no just like, just, tra- peace talks, you know, peace talks. You'll spike his drink I will. and I then re- blame no, no, it on no, no, Proddy. No, I won't spike the drink. Sorry, <laughs> I, I pre, I started saying yes before I heard what you said. <laughs> no, I won't spike the drink. I'll just spike the conversation. I'm glad you guys are getting you know into this. You know, shake hands, but also I think probably is a little bit better than you, John. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> well, he has been training for a year and a half, mate. I've got no time to train. I'm a, like you said, I'm a dad. You are a dad. As so, I. Is oh, so is Ethan. Oh, so is he? Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's, 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 is, a mil- but... he's a millionaire dad. He has so much time. <laughs> millionaire dad. Damn. Sounds like a film. What could have been for me? <laughs> 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 well, you're vlogging now. Yeah, I'm making millions yeah. now. No, I'm actually vlogging. Should we talk about it now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Oh, thanks. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't watch. I didn't watch the golf one. That's okay. I don't watch anything I'm in really. Yeah, no, that's fine. I watched fine. the start of it, yeah. and then we, you were on the golf course, and I skipped through. And so I you like, won't watch this one. Yeah. Which one? This one. This one. I'll no, just I'll watch right it now. if I'm in. If I'm in a little bit. Yeah. I'll, I won't watch this part. Yeah. But um, the golf one was like majority golf. Do you think I should add timestamps into them? Mm, there's so many like discrepancies about whether timestamps hurt a video or yeah, help yeah. a video. Yeah, Nick, Nick hates them. Nick does hates they, timestamps for this this podcast. Well, it's because they can they can change like the the watch time because you can skip through stuff. That's what he was saying. Yeah, but it also I don't think that changes. Much. I don't know. I, I think for a podcast it's, it should be there because of the fact that like it's like an hour and a half. Like, uh, yeah, you want to go it. in and but uh, anyway, uh, no. So yeah, obviously the vlog one did really well. But no, see, this Randy with his, his shot as driver. Cool, look at that. <laughs> can you can you clear up? Because I every shot that I filmed was obviously really bad. Right. Every shot you took was really bad. No, don't do this to me. You literally said, you were like, oh, I got a par on that one. You took nine shots. 
this guy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, Randy was actually really good. Apart um, from no, because I say in this, as soon as the camera came yeah, out, I say this. My drives. This was a great shot from you. Anyway, Nick, Nick, no, turn it off because we're gonna keep watching it. That wasn't. Um, I. That was the one I flopped. Oh, really? Okay. It was that hole where I was doing well, and then I scuffed two shots. Okay. Okay. Well, no, I said in the video, my drives have been perfect all day. And no, it weren't perfect, but they, like, usually they slice out of bounds, but they actually on the fairway most of the time. And then everyone, someone in the comments was like, don't lie, Randy, all your shots on video were crap. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> he's they, not wrong. They were good, they were good. JJ <laughs> was gassing them up as well. Oh, when the yeah. camera came out and- <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what happened. Horror. Every time. And then, and then uh, okay, I don't want to review the whole vlog, but no, I've, obviously you guys know I took a trip away. Oh, have we done this? Is this the first one back since then? Yeah. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, so I took a trip away, very impromptu. I had it planned for so long, but I, it was not gonna happen. But I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go on my own and do it. And I will say it's the best trip I ever had, for sure. Really? And it, one of the best things I ever did in my life. So I you went it. to Texas. Yeah. And the the sole reason for going was to see Burt Kreischer. Yep. And Tommy Tom Segura, Tate, Tom, that's one. <laughs> yeah, Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Well, the original plan was to go see Drake and J. Cole. Yeah, but then I didn't do that in the end because this uh, I, I flew well, that there. Wasn't the original one because you would have booked flights that were around that. Not in my book. head, it was the original one. Okay, so I didn't actually book anything until I got there. So I I booked the trip a day before I went. Okay, so I booked flights the day before I went. I booked every hotel the day of being on the trip. Okay, so like I wake up and where am I going today? Book a trip. You know, book a hotel. That's that's cool. Probably spent a lot more money than you. Not. Well, in, yes. So it's hotels. I feel like hotels. Right, the price goes. It slowly goes up and up and up. But on the day, surely it goes down because they're like, well, they need someone. we have a room. Yeah. So you actually probably got it cheaper. I did. And also I was like, try in my head, I was doing it frugally, you know, so I wasn't trying to spend as frugally. money. Is it frugally. <laughs> That's a very funny word. Sure. I was being word. frugal. It, be, it sounds real. Uh, it I was being be. frugal with my purchases. So yeah. for example, like the hotels, I would like book deep, like not crazy good ones, but decent ones. Although the last day I was doing the podcast with Optic, a uh, hitch mm -hmm. uh, around the bar, it's called, go check it out guys. And it was, there was a hotel right next to where their offices are, but it was the W. It was a lot. It was really expensive, but I was so tired. I was like, I'm just gonna book that one. But in the in the future, I'm gonna actually do it frugally. Um, <laughs> okay. But no, I, I went to Houston, so flew to Houston, drove from Houston to a place called Corpus Christi, which everyone that I told in Texas that I was going there were like, Why on earth are you going there? Apparently, they, they didn't rate it. But that was to see uh, Tom Segura. He had a show there. Uh, stayed there one night. Woke up the next morning. Then drove to San Antonio, which is like two hours away. Uh, that was then where I watched. Tom, uh, Bert Kreischer, and that's where Drake was performing, San Antonio. But if I watched Drake, I'd be there for four whole nights. And I was like, I don't wanna stay in one place for four nights. I'm going to different places and stuff. So I ended up uh, going to Austin, and that's where I wanted to see the Kill Tony show. That I look, I I never actually watched a full episode of it. I just saw it on on socials. But it's where there's uh, Tony Hinchcliffe is a comedian. There's a guest yeah. comedian usually with him. Um, it could be Joe Rogan, could be Tom Segura, could be any, anyone, all, all the all the the best. And then they have people put their name in a bucket to go and do a 60 second like not improvised, but a 60 second comedy skit. Yeah, yeah. Some are people trying to be comedians, some are just random people. Yeah, so like some are, yeah, some are random people, some are actually amateurs, some are trying to be professional. Some people have made a career by going on there and now are selling out tours, which is really cool. Uh, and then they, they roast them after the minute, or if it's good, they'll talk to them. And is that the one I always see on TikTok where it's like a, they have like a judges panel yep. on the right yep. and then they stand, do the stand yep. up on the left. And it yeah, actually, so it's, seen... it's technically a live podcast. It's t they, they run it as a podcast. They have like a billion ads in it, which is something we need to get. Um, <laughs> billion but, ads. Oh, they do. They, they do. They have like, really? honestly, 10, 10 to 15 mate, ads. And they get like a million views. In like an hour long, hour and a half long. They start with like five ads. The start of it is They five start ads. with them. Yeah, sorry guys. This podcast is about to get a real <laughs> sellout. <laughs> well, they, they've started, they used to do all the ads at the start and now they do it in between acts, which is smart for like, People not skipping it, but more a, annoying. A for lot us. of their ads as well support like local businesses to wet because a lot of them take place in one comedy club, so they do like local. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they're security like local strip clubs. <laughs> I don't know. Why, I don't know. Why I chose that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to that one. <laughs> I actually didn't. Um, but uh, it's they, they get like a million views per podcast per week, and I tried to get tickets yesterday. So, I, so anyway, long story short, I wanted to go there, and I was booking all the tickets for Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, the Drake show. If I went to it on like SeatGeek or whatever, or do we have a sponsor? No, we don't. No. Um, you know, like, like a ticketing app. But this yeah. comedy club doesn't do uh, like resale, secondhand tickets. You have to be the original purchaser for the tickets. I didn't know this because it's Joe Rogan's new comedy club. And he's just make he's, he's like obviously absolutely breaded. So he just made it how he wants to make it with an unlimited budget. So they make they, they, they don't do resale. You, have, you either get a ticket or you don't go. You can nice. queue up in a line and hope to get it, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be there for a week and be like, all I did tonight yeah, you're was too queue good up. for that. I'm, I'm too, yeah, yeah. yeah, I am. <laughs> no, no, um, uh, I almost did it, but yeah. Uh, so. 
yesterday in real life, like right now, uh, I was here out in this studio trying to buy tickets for Kill Tony. They launched uh, tickets for March, April, May, and June weekly. So how, four times four, 16 shows sold out in a minute. Damn. And so now I can't go. So if anyone, honestly, if anyone is in Austin on any of these oh, days- I saw you post it. Yeah. If anyone has a spare. I'm begging you, anyone who's got tickets with a spare, I will come to the show with you and I will buy every drink that you want. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do everything. Yeah, they're, they're, they sell out arenas. <laughs> you'll be in. You'll be in the vlog. Randy will vlog with you'll you. He'll buy a, all your drinks. Yep. There yep. you go. I'll do m maybe potentially more as well. Potentially, if you know, <laughs> depending on how desperate. Really hot. <laughs> no, yeah. uh, but no, I really enjoyed the trip because I, I was like, there were definitely moments where I was like on my own, thinking, "What am I like? What am I doing here?" I'll be in a hotel, like, uh, like now what? You know. But then I would go to the gym, and because I'm in like a new country, and I'm like, there's nothing. I've got the open road ahead of me. Um, I, got, I got really motivated. You know, I was like, I was just on the bike. And then after like 20 minutes of the bike, I'm just like, really, so I'd, I'd, I'd kill the gym sessions. And then I'm really, really motivated, really focused. And I'm driving somewhere in a different country. It's just, I had oh, such a good time. And then also like, when you're on your own traveling, you don't have to say yes or no to other people. So like, I've been traveling with people and I'm like, oh, should we go and do this? Should we go and do that? Like imagine all those boys in Vegas. It's so hard to organize what yeah. someone wants to yeah. do. I just went and did stuff. Like, I, like no one can say no. So I'm like, I was just walking past like the selfie museum, went in it. Just, you know, <laughs> someone, in San Antonio, someone was driving like a horse and carriage for couples. I just got in it. You know? I saw, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, so I've, I been like, watching, I've been watching all the vlogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then so. also the vlogs were doing really well as well. People really enjoyed that side, which is something that I've always like wanted to do more on socials and like videos and stuff. Because even on this podcast, I'll go on some sort of rants and I'm like, no one wants to hear this. But then on the vlog, it's like a good place to actually do the rants. So I can't believe how well the... That, that one, one did. Yeah, yeah so the, that the, so the British guy tries Texas barbecue for the first time. Yeah, so 318k, which is ridiculous. Like that's, you know when the guy was like telling you about all the like the wood they use yeah. and all of that. Were you really interested in it? I actually was. Okay, because it, it almost seemed like he started rambling a little bit, and you're like, okay. He did talk a lot, and then the two Aussie guys kept asking questions, and they actually asked a question of him because they were he opened the like the barbecue to show the the I'm not sure what it was there, but brisket, the brisket yeah. being cooked. Then he put it down, but this guy loves what he does. Uh, and then at the end, there you go. They asked him to do it again. Can they get a photo? And he was like, this is off camera now. He was like, oh man, I wish you told me that two minutes ago because now I'm gonna lose my heat. He's actually really mad at them asking him to do it. So they didn't, he didn't open it again. <laughs> mad. Because it, it must be such I mean, a science yeah, to get that like true. right temperature and stuff. But no, I actually enjoyed that. I wish I did more stuff like that where I'm asking people stuff, but can you believe that? I'm still like, what? How long have we we've been doing this now? Like ten plus years, yeah. and I'm still nervous, to, like film around people. It's because we we I think that especially our group, we made this whole thing of like, uh, it's annoying when you pull out a camera. Yeah. Because like he put in the chat yesterday, or Andy put in the chat, like by the way, guys, like uh, yeah, I probably am gonna be you know vlogging a bit. Like if if people get annoyed, just just tell me and I'll stop. Yeah, it's on my phone. I can delete it. I can clip stuff out before it goes to editor or whatever. You know. Um. So yeah. Yeah and. Yeah, I don't know what it was because I felt like when we first started, it was like, okay, pull out a camera, vlog everything. Yeah. Then it got to the point where we all wanted a bit more privacy, not even privacy, but just you want your time off camera to be off camera. Yeah. And now it's kind of gone full circle again and we're back where it's, you know, you pull out your camera and everyone's just kind of like, yeah, yeah. cool. No, yeah, I, I spoke to, I spoke to Harry and like Freeze last night and they were like, yeah, just just go for it, you know, go yeah. for it. I mean, you pulled out uh, uh, the camera at golf. Yeah. And... Me, JJ, and Harry will just like, yeah, come on. Just go for it, yeah. Like, if yeah. you point think, at us, we'll talk to the camera. Like, Yeah, and I think also because it's us and we've, I don't know, we've done, done this for a long time now. Like everyone knows that I'm not there to like be beggy, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I will, I think what I'll do, my, my plan with the vlogs is, so if those who haven't, haven't watched it, go and watch it because it's actually really good stuff if you're going through similar stuff to me or just trying to do better. I'm really, I'm really motivated right now. I'll, I'll more on this in a second. But the way I'm going to do the vlogs is, because you told me this as well, don't do things for the vlog. Yeah. So that's just, just vlog. You know, and whatever will be, will be. And that's why the, the Texas one, that's a smart title. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going I'm to try and do, I'm going to try and put myself in situations where I can get titles like that. So if I'm going on another trip, uh, one of them, I, I, I won't say, but one of them is to go, to go to a really cool country and just film some stuff, be smart with the titles. Then I'll do the regular ones where it's just like, I've got nothing to say today. Like, as in like it's not like, a, it's not golf with KSI, you, know, you and Harry. It's just, yeah. well, it's like, look, I'm struggling at this. <laughs> it's just like a regular one. But then also I think if we do hang out or something, I will be smart with the titles, you know? So like, I think we're doing like the more side men later. So I'll probably like put a title. Oh on that, yeah, you know? um, yeah, no, if the title is there, do it. Yeah. But don't turn a vlog into searching for a title. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. So don't, don't go, okay, I need, I'm vlogging tomorrow. I need to go, oh, JJ, can I just like, can I come to yours to just do this quickly? Yeah, no, none of that. None of that. No. If, you're, if you're going to his, there's your title. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But this week, 
live your life normally yeah and vlog it this week has been a busy one though because we did golf one day uh tuesday i just can't remember what happened a podcast today like the side men more side men yeah so it's kind of like you missed out a day Wednesday. Uh, yeah. I went. I went to. The, well, I went to the pub with the boys. So it's like, but I didn't film much of that either. Like, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm also not going to be. In, I, I don't. Want, I don't want to film all the time either. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a parts of Texas where I didn't. I filmed. Didn't film a lot of Texas. You know. Um. But I'm enjoying doing them. But most importantly, it's motivating me like crazy. Right. Look at that fucking wavelength. <laughs> 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 Wait, Nick. Please put that in the video. <laughs> anyway, how's your week, man? <laughs> it's, been, it's been good. I've come back motivated as well. <laughs> yeah. I went, I went on holiday. I had my honeymoon. I uh, went to the Maldives. Yep. You can still talk, by the way. <laughs> well, I, 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 I want in, in, to introduce this one, intro this bit by saying, okay. I want to say thank you to you, by the way, because you shouted me out in your main channel video, yeah. which is really, really nice. You've been really supportive of the vlogs, which is really, really nice. Aww. And you've been really nice to me. And I'm appreciative of like, friends <laughs> like you, you know? So, yeah. Aww. 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 Thanks, thanks. But then also what I will say then is I... There we go. No, 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 no. no. It's but on, but it's, that time you did this. It's on the same wave. Like, look, I'm really motivated for us all. Because I realized everyone this year is actually seems to be on the same path of like so I'm, I'm really motivated for myself with like the vlogs music main channel and everything else and yourself it, you, you went on your honeymoon and got, became motivated as well yeah going away does help doesn't it yeah i think so what i normally do I've, every time i've been away it's been maximum 10 days i'd mm, say mm. but even then i've not done that i've probably done that twice in the yeah. last 10 years uh so this time i got to 10 days and at the by that point i was there just like i want to do nothing i literally would wake up sit in the sun get a massage and that was it then by the 13th day when I came home, I was like, all right, like I've had that little relaxing time. Mm -hmm. Now I want to actually start doing stuff again. Yeah. So I started using my daily planner. Come on, have yeah. you? I was thinking about this. Every day. Do you write it the night before? That's really good because yeah. I also so had a day. Sometimes I don't like today because if I'm, if I'm out the entire day and my day is like, my day's planned. Mm -hmm. So I literally had to come in for this. I have more side men. I'm going home. Yeah. And I've already done my videos for tonight. Fucking hell. So, You're an inspiration. At, at that point, I'm like, there's no point really writing it down. I'll still write it tonight and just kind of cross them off just so I have it written mm -hmm. down. But there's no point. But if a day, if yep. I'm at home, like yesterday I was at home, I wrote that Tuesday night and I'd write what I need to get done and then what the order I plan on doing. Yeah, it. yeah, and sure. Tick them off That's really good. One. Because I had an admin day the other day because I was away for a week and I was just vlogging and stuff. I came back with loads of stuff to do, like invoices and all that boring stuff. And I actually did write a list. And when you write a list, you just power through it. Yeah. Because you don't procrastinate. You go, okay, done. That's, that's easy. Do, 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 you know? Um, and, and also I find like when you are in like the burnout stage, when you're filming all the time, you're so busy, you want to go away, you go away. And then you're like so excited to get back and start it again. Yeah. It's really important to do that, which is why I think COVID was a really hard period for a lot of people. Because you can't get away. Yeah. You have nothing else to do except make videos. Yeah. And we, we enjoyed that because, you know, everyone was watching videos. You know, views were up a little bit. You know, yeah. everyone was having fun And we found it. new things with, like Among Us and mm -hmm. Warzone and stuff like that. Yeah. But then after a while, you forget that like, you need those breaks. You need socialize and you need like social interaction with people. Um, so that's why the, the, the vlogs as well, I'm really excited for those to go away and travel because I can, I can go away, get that like... Uh, it scratched the itch of needing to go out and kind of like travel, but also that can be work still. Yeah. I can still vlog that and then I can come back and be, you know, so I'm really, I'm really excited for that. And, um, but no, you've been in the chat as well, like motivating people, I feel like. Have I? Yeah, you've been like, I'm, I'm, exci I'm excited to get back. No my one replies. Oh, well, <laughs> I, 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 I am I'm very- always like, this is the year, boys. We're all making our millions this yeah, year. Yeah, well, well, Sidemen are doing well Quite. as well. <laughs> like, you've dropped some bangers yeah. so far. Uh, some more to come, I think. So it feels good, man. It feels like, Cause you could say that, oh, everyone's getting older now. You know, everyone's trying to settle down, which might be true, but still like everyone's got the hunger. Lux yeah. is doing his thing with no two ways. Freeze is doing the fellas, you know, and then you got the side men. Although I did see a, I saw your main channel video where you were going through how many videos you all posted. That yeah, was, it was on my Reddit. That was quite interesting. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's nearer the end. That was like a, I think it's there, there you go. that. So Harry and Ethan both made six, pause it there. Harry and Ethan both made six videos. Mm -hmm. last year <laughs> Vic made three and then I told JJ I was like you made a, a, a we were filming something the other day that's out in like a week or two mm -hmm. and I was like you know you made 65 videos last year and he was like 65 how many weeks are there and I was like 52 <laughs> he's like oh, okay yeah so okay so more than one a week that's pretty good yeah and I was like that's not it's not awful to be fair he's done 61 second channels so more than one a week that is pretty good for JJ yeah considering like fights and everything yeah like, and training and prime and everything mm -hmm. that's not bad yeah it's ethan easy. ethan and harry and vic 
I want to say they need to update Vic game. Did do, Vic did do some streams which weren't counted. Yeah, they should be counted ish. It still wasn't like. Yeah. Which one's your third channel? Is that the clips? Clips. Yeah. So do you count one big stream as no. if it gets clipped up into multiple videos? Yeah. Lots of videos. Yeah. Well, come on, Nick. That's Twitch, man. He streams on Twitch and he clips it to YouTube. Yeah. 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 I know. I know. The third channel is like stupidly easy, and that is. But the the thing I always think, right, is as much as someone can go, oh, that doesn't count because that's so easy. I'm like, well. The others can do it. Yeah, they, <laughs> like, they, they can do counts, it. They can do you know? it. Yeah. <laughs> it still is videos. I think Ethan actually does enjoy like second channel like videos, but I think he also enjoys just playing games and not filming them as much. Yeah, you know, because he he has, he has stints where he starts posting like second channel UFC, you know, uh, but then maybe stops. But, um, but yeah, I, I went away and. I was reading Atomic Habits. Finished yeah. it. Let, oh, let's go. Finished it. I was, gonna, I was going to walk in. I keep forgetting. I was going to walk in with the book. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I only read like, it's, I think it's 270 pages or something. Yeah. Like. I only read like 130 by the time I got on the flight. And then I read the rest of it all on the way home. Sure. Because I just, yeah, I, just can't, I can't sit in the sun and read. I just get really bored. Okay, I get bored. Not that one, <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it's Atomic Habits because it's not a story-based book. I have no reason to like read the next section because it's nothing to do with the last section. So yeah. I'd like read a, I'd read one chapter, which is like six pages, seven pages, and then I'd go, all right, put it down, mm. watch some TikToks or do whatever. I think you should try and start reading every night like a chapter because it, it also really helps you fall asleep. Do you struggle falling asleep? No. God damn it, you're like perfect. <laughs> well, since since this, uh, we've come back. Me and Tyler have come back, and we were jet lagged. This is six hours ahead. Yeah. So we came back and we would go to bed at like. 10 10 30 wake up at seven wow and then we've kept that every day since we've been even back. A really early this week yeah i get up at like 7 15 now and you wake up as soon as you get up don't you yeah i've, I've been trying to do that i'm I, out of bed within one and a half minutes yeah i had a week <laughs> where i was doing that because i was mindful of what you you doing that just got really cold in here for some reason yeah, I say it quite low. Oh. I walked in <laughs> yeah, here yesterday. Just now. But by the way, I walked in. No, no, earlier. Oh. It just probably just got to it. Yeah. I walked in here yesterday and Nick had it on 31 degrees. Good. Really? Yeah, good. 31. Shout out to you. Oh, yeah. uh, what were we saying? Um, yeah, so I read. Reading. That. Mm. I, I, yeah, I would, I would like to read more, but I just don't. I don't have like that much of a want to, and I don't think it changes that much. Yeah, I think. I, I am really struggling right now with the mentality of like when I went away, you know, I was like, I had loads on my mind and you know, I had a lot of negative thoughts. So, you know, I was struggling and then like the trip really helped. Vlogging really helped and I'm feeling really motivated and good right now, but I don't like it because I, I, <laughs> I'm feeling really good and I don't. Like no, it. I don't. like. Honestly, even in the gym this morning, like because when I was in America and I was going to the gym, I had like a reason to keep going. Like when I was struggling, I'm like thinking about certain things. I'm like, nah, go, go, go. You know, now I'm like, I don't have that. So I, I, I'm, I feel comfortable. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I liked feeling like hurt, you know? Not, I, there's no kink I here. It. I genuinely do think a to-do list though is, do you do them? Uh, yes, I, I do. But I do them like, I will do them as I start the session. So I will get to like do admin or whatever I'm doing. I'm like, okay, what do I need to do right now? Rather than do it the night before. Yeah, start I'm, doing it the, yeah, the night will, before. I will. Because what I even do as well is like, uh, so yesterday, the night before yesterday, I was like, all right, uh, things I have to do. I had to do, it was like three videos. Um, I had a meeting. I had, what did I do? I did something. Oh, I had a physio and I had like one or two other things. Yeah. I wrote them all down, but then I had a couple other things that I was going to do and I just write them down as I do them. Got you. And then tick them off immediately. Yeah. But it makes me think like, okay, look, I've done 10 tasks now. Nice. I feel so much better you about do, you, it. You, when you tick them off, you do feel great. Because yeah. some days I look at it and I'm like, I did a lot this day, but all I've written down is like film four videos, yeah. stream. That's and I'm like, that is a long day and I've done well, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like much. So break it down yeah. and you feel better. So I should be like, record this video, yes, record this video, record this video. Would even, you ever do even more and have like some people do get up, shower, brush teeth? So I, I've started going towards that on my, so the way the, the page is, you have like to-do list. Above that you have most important things so you put like if i'm like okay i need to, i have to record a video so i'll put like record four videos and then record this video there but then on the left is a schedule and i've started making that more in depth of like so yesterday was uh play golf make breakfast physio and it's like 
Oh, I've started going to more like make breakfast. At that point, I'll do this. At that point, I'll do this. Do you do you journal? No. That's really good to do. You I've know. heard that. And like also not not just like saying what you're doing or whatever. Like also like write what you're grateful for because that's that's a similar way of like breaking down your like tasks, ticking them off, making you feel good. Journaling also helps because you if you're like down and in, in the dumps, but you're actually saying oh, I'm grateful for my parents or I'm grateful for this. It actually makes you start being more positive and looking on the bright side. You know because you, you can easily. But it's very weird how like we humans are like because we're, we're very. It's easy to forget. Like, our brains are so complex. So we could just go through life think I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. Which actually, you know, every day you wake up though, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. You start thinking, wow, my life's actually pretty good. You know. Yeah. And this is what I was like. This is why I really enjoyed the gym and why I really enjoyed it on the trip and I still do now. Which is why I want to get that. I want to get that mentality when I'm in the gym struggling and I can overcome it because when you when you overcome that your day is set up so well that the endorphins are so good and I feel like I can tackle anything which is also why I don't like doing gym at night time yeah I get that because once you've done it you're good for the day and I'm, the rest pumped, of the day. I'm pumped at night I can't sleep when I do, do gym whereas last night we were watching I was watching football with Freezy he was not drinking at the, at the pub which is very commendable and then he just went and worked out after the games I'm like that's crazy yeah see I, I like doing it that's the last thing normally I'll wake up do every single task once i've done that i can go to the gym yeah i have a shower and i'm done for the day i, I like to do that too but then this week has been like so many things to do yeah it, like, like this podcast today i went to gym and like for like 30 minutes i just I had no time to go so i'm gonna go later but i wish i did like an hour that in the gym have that great feeling and then you know but so i think i'm just gonna get up earlier you know um so that's something to work on well, that's journaling, what I put. do you not think that uh, the vlogging could be like a form of journaling no, that, the, nah the, no, for me it is the vlogging it, no, it but, is but you're not gonna say some stuff on yeah. the vlog that you're saying yeah, fair, yeah, yeah. like so, you're still like you're pretty open on your vlogs actually have yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe too but much you're still not gonna say everything no you're right so it's, i think i think it's not but it is the it's like it scratches that part of you that helps you and so i i am treating the the, the vlog as like a public journal yeah you know and also it, this is gonna sound very weird but it, it feels like music to me as well because when i'm writing music i write like how i'm feeling and stuff and i just say it in the vlogs now so i'm not gonna quit music to do the vlogs but yeah. like i like that like <laughs> more intimate level just of put a beat behind the vlog <laughs> so, <laughs> so that video that did really well the american one obviously it's got so many american viewers and they can't understand me so I've got, i'm really trying to be mindful now speaking slower it's so hard though because my mind just goes so fast and i want to get my point across so fast <laughs> but I, I need to start speaking slower um but this is this actually we've got so much to talk about in this podcast we actually don't have enough time to get through everything i know <laughs> well, well i mean we yeah we can we can talk about a few what things are your conclusions and, about the honeymoon though Honeymoon was uh, honestly best holiday I've ever had. Um, we went to we went to one place which so Talia has been to the Maldives like seven years ago, eight years ago, something like that for three days. Yeah. So we went to that place that she went to. Um, that was the second place we went to because we nice. were like, we know it's good. Like yeah. she she knows it's good. Mm -hmm. We went to a different place for four days. I messaged Freezy and I was like, yeah, we're at, uh, we're at this place. He's like, oh, that's the Russian place. I was like, huh? He was like, oh, isn't that where loads of Russian, like there's always Russian oh, wow. people there. And I was like, I haven't noticed. As soon as he said it, <laughs> every person there was Russian. <laughs> I didn't clock. That's so funny. But the second, yeah, the second he said it. And then um, it was so nice. Yeah, so that's like our beach. Mm. Like we have that private area. Um, the place, The place is just like unreal. It's just. When you were putting pictures in the chat, I was thinking this is crazy. Yeah, then, then the second place, so we got a boat over to this oh, place. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, we got a boat oh over Oh my God, to... go back five seconds, Nick, and just look at that shot of the sun coming through. That's like Michael Bay lens flip, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the second se second place we went to, we went for eight days. Hmm. We got a boat over, it's called Sunny Vajani, and it was just like... Sunny Vagina? What was it called? I know, I laughed every time I heard it. <laughs> Sunny Vajani. Got you, got you. And uh, yeah, you like you have two floors. The second floor has a slide down into the sea. We were waiting in the chat for you to do a... Oh, there you go. POV. Yeah, that was on the last day. I was really yeah. nervous. Yeah. I'd, I'd already been down the slide a few times, yeah. but this is the other thing, right? So I was like, did you see me put in the chat? Like, I don't want to take my phone down the slide. Yes. Yeah. It's waterproof. Yeah. Tali was the same. She was like, just just use it. Yeah. Like, uh, just put... Okay, put your phone in the pool for a second and you'll see it's waterproof. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll just trust you guys. Cool. cool. Go down once. Film. And then Talia goes down uh, face first. Yeah. And I filmed that. And she literally fucking flew down. Oh, and, wow. Like slapped. And she has two big like bruises, bruises oh, on dear. her hips now where she hit the water. Damn. Phone didn't work for three days. Hers or yours? Mine. Literally wouldn't charge for three iPhones, days. Mate, yeah. oh, and I was there like, I have listened. It was I saw it was mainly Josh. <laughs> he was the one saying... 
it's waterproof it's I, I would have i thought it every time but i didn't want to be that yeah. guy and in, in case like, it didn't work and it didn't but, work but, no, but how what did you do with your phone like i went down the slide and then uh obviously went into the water and i got up turned around filmed talia go down the slide and then we got out and then i put it on the side <laughs> that was it because it's, it's, i think there's water resistant not necessarily like waterproof so you can't be like chucking it down and like throwing it and Didn't like you just say it was waterproof it also meant, does say it's like waterproof down to like five meters or something. Yeah, stupid. but like you can't, you don't, you don't submerge it. You just like, you just, like the phone worked by the way. It didn't charge. Okay. So it, okay. it didn't charge for three days. Sure, sure. So you had a few forced days without using your phone, like man, like forced. Yeah. Was that good? No. <laughs> 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 because it's because this place is like, we, me and Talia wanted to relax. So we didn't want to go do loads of stuff all day, every day. So I'm going to spend time on my phone. Mm. So in that case, I want my phone. If it's like, okay, I'm going here. Like we said, if we go again, the way we would do it is every single day, we would go wake up, go do some form of uh, water sport, like jet ski, whatever. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, evening, have a massage and then go for dinner. Wow. That's what we'd do next time. But this time we literally went, we went jet skiing and we went, snorkeling that was it but it is your honeymoon like when i went on my honeymoon sad i just literally sat on the, the, the oh, beach no, no, no. we wanted to not do anything yeah it's nice to but have that like, we said next time sure and at that point i probably wouldn't want to use my phone because i'm you like you stay on one of the end ones or on one of the wheels we stayed on not the circle the one just that one like so that did you have to get like driven down to your thing yeah but um it was a pretty quick we we're actually on the other side of the island um it was, it was, it was like not a long walk. It was like a five, 10 minute walk max. And they give you, um, they give you motorized bikes as well. So you can kind of go around. Nice. And they had this little area that where one of the restaurants was. Line bike. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had a little area in there where you can go 24 seven and it's got uh, like a bunch of random chocolates, a bunch of random cheeses, meats, mm. ice cream. And nice. it's just open 24 seven. So we always walk down and. Got really an ice nice. cream and walked back. It was just, oh, it was just so nice. Did you have a butler? We did have, a, they have like barefoot butlers is what they're called. Ooh. Nice. Even Which, better. Well, they don't let them wear, they don't let them wear shoes. You, no one wears shoes on the island. You don't oh. want to either. Yeah. Want you to literally them. turn up and they're kind of like, you can wear shoes and we advise you to wear flip flops during the day because the wood gets really Hot. warm. But night times, no one wears shoes. And there was one really weird thing where the only thing, I kind of enjoyed it, but I kind of, it was kind of annoying was they're very like we don't want you to think here we want to do it, take that away sure so they go we've booked you these restaurants yeah um and like one of the nights they were like we're having a every monday or something we have a uh meeting and then a, a dinner on the beach yeah and everyone just goes onto the beach and there's like a free bar and everything which mm. was cool but yeah. me and Talia stood there just around a bunch of people we're kind of like we kind of just wanted to spend time together. Sure, not, not I get around that. everyone. Yeah, I get that. Were they all Russian as well? <laughs> no, that was the other place. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it, it was really nice, but it almost felt like sometimes it was too much mm. of like, okay, you're actually being too friendly. That was too nice, yeah. 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 Sometimes, you know, just, just tell us to shut up and stay in your room. Yeah, yeah. Well, so also, while you were in Maldives, so was Josh. Josh was in the Maldives. At the same time. Yeah. We were was, talk, well, we... Because I booked that. Yeah. And then I said to the guys, like, look, I've booked a holiday. Use that time. Go on holiday. Mm -hmm. So Josh was like, I want to go uh, to the Yeah, Maldives and then Vic well. just booked the week before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wasn't in the most recent Cyber video. Sure. sure. And makeover. Sure. But I think, didn't... Okay, yeah. It was for a reason, I think, right? So... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a holiday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's why I went away as well. I was like, nice, because there's no podcast, so... Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, but, oh, so Josh went away and got engaged. He did. Let's go. The boy has done it. Woo. Let's go. So he uh, he's told the whole story now. Has he? Because yeah. I, I obviously, when I just said that he's engaged, I'm not sure what I can say about it. No, he's told all. Yeah, okay. So we were, um, we were meant to be filming a video on the day after I got back. Yeah. And he was meant to be back two days before me. He left the day yes. after me and came back two days oh, early. Oh, he extended it, didn't he? And then he put in the chat, might need a favor from you guys. Ethan put as a joke, do you want a video congratulating you on your proposal? And he was like, 
oh, that's actually it. I'm extending my trip. <laughs> yeah. You quoted it. And because we you're engaged. Like, yeah. What do you mean? Like, why have you... What? Are you, are you being serious? And then, yeah, he, uh, he put the picture in the chat. I was them. livid. Why? Because he put it in Simon first. Well, he only put it there because Ethan called him out on it. Not called okay. him out on it, but okay. said, is it because you proposed? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I remember now. I was getting pissed in the gym. In, in the gym? In the, in the <laughs> pub. I went to watch Forrest play in, in Texas. Then that picture comes through. So I'm drinking. So I'm like drinking more now because of the engagement. And I was, I got finished. I was finished. I couldn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I remember that now. Um, that yeah, chat was a great. You were asleep. You were asleep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, we were going to bed at like 11. Yeah. And he put it in the chat at 1 a.m. our time. Right. Makes and, sense. And uh, Freya tried phoning Talia. And Talia was asleep, obviously. <laughs> so we wake up in the morning and Talia Talia's like. I can tell she's, you know, like very happy yeah. and like giggly kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, she yeah. goes, she's like, oh, check your phone. And for some reason I went, Josh proposed in it. No idea why. Wow. I just went, Josh proposed. Yeah. And she went, check your phone. And I look and I see the picture. Because I'd said to you before, I was like. You did say that. I've been like, Maldives, but- it's happening. Yes. But he didn't know it was happening. Yeah. That, okay. I'm not sure what. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't know that either. No, it was very. So he he said he did a whole video on it. Got you. I'm, I'm really struggling now not what to say because I don't know how much has been out there. So Josh put a picture in our group chat of like a video of like the sunset, him on a jet ski, and put a video of like the sunset. It was uh, it was in the, it was it was midday. Yeah, it, that, that, that's why we were, we were creasing in the chat because early on he'd put a yeah sorry to ruin the story but he he was on a jet ski and he put a video he didn't say a word bless you it was like a 25 second clip of him just panning around I've saved it. It's on my, yeah, it's on my phone. Yeah. It's like, it means a lot to me now. Uh, and he's, just, <laughs> he's just panning around, looking at the horizon. Doesn't say a single word. And we were like, oh, Josh is living life right now. And then later, he puts in the chat that he's got engaged. And then we realized, oh my God, that's when he, re- that's, he we were joking. Yeah. That, that's when he figured it out. He's filming. He's like, you know what? Today's the day. because Josh, Josh will film stuff like that. You know, he'll, he'll take pictures. He'll film sunsets, etc., And like yeah. nice views. But he won't put them anywhere. No, yeah. So the fact that he put it in the chat was <laughs> yeah. like... This sunset or this like open water has made you realize I'm La- ready. Life's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life's good. And then he just slapped the ring on. Yeah, which is yeah. sick actually. Because again, like everyone was like, oh, he's going to Maldives. Oh, he's going at the same time as you. It must be for a big reason. And I guess maybe he had it in the mind to do it. But like, he- yeah, I mean, he had said like I'd, he hadn't planned on it. But I think so. That's why I know Freya was like, obviously, Freya was happy just because yeah. he's proposed. But, um, it was so like anti Josh in yeah. terms of uh, impulsive. Yeah. It, it, normally you'd go, all right, Josh is probably going to plan something away for a day or two. Yeah. And then it's going to be all around the proposal. But no, he just kind of went, all right. It's like time. it was still like a, they had a private meal. They, yeah. Whatever. But well, I just, think that's even sweeter though. Cause it's like, he's, he's not doing it. He's not doing it because, cause people have been saying, oh, you've been together for so long. Why yeah, you are you have not? To. Yeah. He, 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 he must've been on that trip and just felt actually, I feel really good right now. Yeah. Like I'm enjoying this trip. You know, it's great company. We're having a great time now. It, that means more, I think. Yeah. Than just doing it cause you have to, you know? So respect to Josh. Yeah. Well done. Fair play. And um, congratulations to you both. We have to, I still want to get got, you both on this podcast. We've got a wedding at some point as well. Oh, fuck yeah. I fucking love weddings. <laughs> and I love stag dudes if they cost less than Vicks. <laughs> No, Josh will pay for it all, I'm sure. Yeah. I jo- do, Josh wouldn't I, I do that do to that. the boys, though. Josh wouldn't do that to the boys. Yeah, Josh wouldn't, Josh, Josh wouldn't do that to the boys. Josh, Josh, will, Josh will pay for it, I'm sure. He'll cop the whole trip. When Freeze is on here... I, let's, <laughs> yeah, he, cop it all, Josh. Uh, when Freeze is on here, if we get, ever, ever get him on, I want to chat to him, and maybe we'll actually say how much we paid for that honeymoon, because it's so funny to me. Okay. It's outrageous. Yeah. Well, I mean, none of us knew we were paying that. No, I know, I know. That's why it's even more outrageous. <laughs> we, we, bro, we were just, yeah, buy that, buy that, buy that. And then... Oh, <laughs> so it was up. I still haven't financially recovered from that. <laughs> no, I, 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 oh, I kind of haven't actually. But no, that's great. Uh, I, I wanted to say something on this podcast, by the way. I was waiting for the right time. That's how podcasts work. Yeah, no, true, yeah. actually, true. How would you feel? I should have waited for a different point. Okay, but how would you feel that if we, as a as a what's good collective? Yeah. Wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not selling this right. Hold on, let me let me get into the zone. Okay, so you know how the fellows got fellow studios. Yeah. How would you feel about us having some more shows in the What's Good Network? Not, hold on, not like the fellas, okay. not other people, but like, say, I did one, Uncle Randy. Just did a podcast. If you want to. And then say me and John could do one like After Hours. Well, not After the Hours, like What's Good After Dark, you know? If you want, 100%. It could be good. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, it's like that's like fellas mysteries, for example. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like a. I don't think the waveform would change too much if you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is Uncle Randy, man. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> I, I tried. Know. I tried talking about something. I talked about money. You only went, oh, Josh, by the way. <laughs> Fuck off. No. <laughs> no, I, I knew the segue was there. So I was like, is that a good. <laughs> no, that's, that's a good idea. I mean, this, the studio needs to get utilized a lot more. That's a, yeah. What happened to you? You were, you were talking about doing. Something? It's oversaturated, mate. Uh, oversaturated. What were you talking about doing? Me and Con were going to do a podcast. I didn't know who it said. It's never materialised. Yeah. It, but mate, there's no time. There's so, no time for anything. They were going to call it how to not be as good as Prodigy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. He's, he's so good. His daily blogs are amazing. Prodigy <laughs> hate club. I'm sorry if I... I'm really sorry if I cut down the honeymoon talk. It's fine. It was really, like... It was amazing, but not that much happened in terms of, like, we relaxed every day. That's it. Although it really did get me motivated to, I'm like, okay, I want to, I want to take more brand deals, good, and go again next. I want it like now. Of it's, course. Now I want it to be a yearly thing. Yeah. I said I'd love to do a family trip. Yes. <laughs> Nick's knee sliding. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you didn't say paid for family trip, mate. <laughs> did it make you want to take longer holidays more? Once a year. Yeah. But I mean, I've, I've only ever done one. I'm trying to remember the last time I actually took the holiday where I proposed mm. and our family holiday we did. After the wedding. How long no. were you away for for the wedding? Seven days. So. In total? Y- yes. Yeah, I think so. May, uh, maybe like. No, plus the little family thing afterwards. Yeah, we were there for. We left. Uh, we were there for like nine days, I think, or ten days in total. Mm. And then our family holiday was about seven days. Apart from those two, when I proposed and this honeymoon, I think those are the only holidays I haven't done any work. Wow. Since I started. Yeah. Because I actually had like a bit of a reality check in a way when I first. So I used to go on long holidays. So my family and I would go on like a two week holiday to Wales or something. And Laura would go and stuff. And Laura and I would go to Disney for two weeks as well. Even even midway between uh, before tour started with JJ, we went no mid 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 mid, mid tour. We went two weeks away. But then when I kind of like started going away with you guys more, you guys were so set on never doing more than a week. Like a week yeah. max. Everyone was like, Josh was like saying it, you were saying it. Cause like, yeah. got, and I realize now, cause you guys are filming ahead for it. So, you know, it means filming seven videos or 14, which is a big difference. But there is something about long ones that do just. No, I do get it fully, but it's, it's depending on, for me, it's, it, the place has to really be worth it. Yeah. Like I would go to Australia for more than a week. Of course. But if you're going to go, okay, let's go have a nice holiday. For example, I wouldn't go Disneyland. Where mm. are you talking America? Disney World, mate. Yeah. Florida. America. Yep. Okay. Yep. I still wouldn't go there more than a week. Well, that is a very, yeah, I mean, we really enjoyed it, but I can see why someone wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't. Yeah, like, I would really enjoy it for four days, five days. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I don't know how we did two weeks. Yeah, it's, that's what I mean. Like, I wouldn't go that's anywhere it. else for... Although for I remember when, when we were coming back, we would get sad though. Mickey Mouse got a chokehold on me. <laughs> that fucking mouse. But also, yeah, I still, I still, for some reason, want to make videos every day of the holiday I'm away. Mm, yeah. So... The week before it is still long. Mm. So I, I think I missed two. I think I missed one day while I was away. You were saying two. on your main channel when you're talking about how many videos you did, you want to do more this year. Yeah, that's that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't I don't really get why I would miss more days because mm. I think second channel and third channel are so easy. Yeah, hold on. Let, let me just ask you: How do you do it? How do you actually like have the motivation for it? Because one thing I'm really good at, I think, is starting something. When I get that bug, because I posted a main channel video with JJ. I know it's JJ, so it's going to do well, but it's on like 700K. And I'm still logged into my Randy channel, looking at like a video that got 20K, like changing the title and stuff. As in like, I'm, I'm, I love starting new channels and starting the Pokemon as well. I love starting the new one. Yeah. And then no, running that. that. But then I'm not the best at maintaining it. I get bored, I think. And like, I'm like, oh, so how do you not get bored of like posting every day? Because I just don't see it as like a hard task. I think as long as you can constantly yeah like i'll i'll sit with this is what i'm now really trying to do is i'll sit with visinical and go right let's just figure out five videos i can do yeah i can film five videos in half a day well a day probably you can yeah that's almost a week done like i don't really know how <laughs> what? 
yeah. No, I'm actually thinking, I'm actually like, yeah, you're right. That's what I mean. Like, if you work out how much time we actually spend, if you if you sit down and just work, mm. you're actually not spending that much time. It's the time in between where you're like, all right, I filmed the video. Okay, I'll take like 45 minutes off or whatever. Then I'll do another video and then take another 45 off. If I just sit there and go video, 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 I'll be done in four or five hours. Yeah, you're so right. Uh, that's why I'm enjoying it. I've got the Kofi like membership thing now as well. And in my Discord, they're all really like motivating for that. I'm like, if I'm over, th- I over- overthink a lot. So if I'm overthinking, they're like, stop doing that. Just keep keep filming, you know? So I guess I, I, my, my goal with the vlogs and anyone who wants to watch it and comment on it is just to keep going. Yeah. I can't stop. Well, that's, I keep watching. So I, I watch all of yours and I'm just, Thanks. I want to, I want to vlog, but then I do something like yesterday. I was like, okay, I'm playing golf on my own, physio, record some videos. Playing golf on your own is such a good thing to vlog. Yeah, but I was like, I've also just had some vlog footage of playing golf with yeah, you. Yeah, sure. I don't want to. Oh, so you wouldn't do it daily, would you? Like that? I wouldn't do it daily. Okay, sure. But I was so tempted. And then I was like, okay, but would I put that on my main channel? Because I was talking to you yesterday about it. Mm. I think our main channels have such a, we have such a mindset with our main channels that we don't put certain stuff on it. Yeah. If you vlogged just in here today, you'd you'd think that can't be main. Mm-hmm. If it's just you know talking, but that's why I did the video of me like British guy trying barbecue or whatever. They did like three hundred k. That's I didn't overthink that. I just put put it out there. It's done really well. So if you have that same mentality with the main channel, stuff could go crazy and do really well. True, you could do a video. I mean, um, you know, it, uh, we overthink the main channel because you post so loosely on there. Yeah, when it does do bad, you it really hurts. And it also, by the way, it does hurt your brand deals. When you have a low, at least for me, I had like a few lower ones. And you think, oh, post what you want, it doesn't matter. But then the company was like, oh, no, you've had a few stinkers. Yeah. They didn't use that word. Yeah. <laughs> you've, had few, you've had a few that got like 50K, 60K. So now that your value has gone way down, which is kind of annoying, you know? Because it's like, oh, no, but I've got a, like a big video. I guarantee you know, this many views. They're like, mm, no. Which yeah. is funny because the, the KSI video has got no brand deal. Then they'll they'll do another one that like doesn't do very well. And I'm like, why did you not just like listen to me when I'm saying this one's a, this one's a Muna, you know? Um, but I think we should take more risk on the main channel. Yeah, I'm all, I, well, I'm actually just tempted to start because, so my second channel, I, I was doing a series on like a, a random game that finished. I, fi- I filmed the last episode yesterday. Yeah. There's only like five parts. Mm-hmm. My FIFA series, I filmed the last episode yesterday. Wow. Uh, nice got feature. JJ in it. Nice. Yeah. That's it was good. It, prime to glory. I was oh, like, nice. I have to yeah, have cool. JJ oh, in the final one. Not, not Logan. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so now I was, oh, I'm really tempted to just start every now and then like once a week try and vlog like you're doing mm. and just put that on my second channel yeah because then well, i, you should, I you don't should do have that. to care you should do that because if i if it's second channel i really don't have to no you don't like same way you're yeah yeah you would course. overthink it with your main but yeah bro, I, and, and you could do like the collection you could do a vlog on your second channel once a week that's that whole week yeah but i don't want to include too much because my main channel video once a month oh, yeah. i try to put all true, the reddit true. footage in it bro it's so too I powerful need to, i need to like <laughs> too many videos to figure out <laughs> I need to figure out what goes where. Do yeah. I vlog like a day? I choose a day in my week where I'm like, this is where I'm doing the most. I'm going to vlog that loosely for a 10 minute second channel video. And then everything else I'm going to get clips at yep. for my main channel for Reddit sure. at the end of the month. Sounds good, man. But it's just, yeah, trying to figure all that out. How did your stadium video do? Because I know it's picked up loads now. Yeah, after after a day, I think it was a seven. Can, can I guess what it is now? Out of 10. I was, I was so sad. Yeah. I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, I was talking to... Who was I talking to? I think I was talking to like Liam about it. And I was saying like, it is a video that's gonna... I can't see it doing well to start with. It's not gonna be one that I put up and like, oh my God, everyone's like, wow, I need to watch this right now. But it's always gonna pick up. Yeah. I, you, you know, I don't know if the algorithm would have, would have given it a love as well because I think that the, fir- the first like 10 minutes are actually ended up being fairly slow. All the action is in the later half of the video. Yeah. The later half of the video is amazing. It's like my favorite part of the video that we've done is that. Well, it started as a seven or an eight. I'm going to guess. Two. Right now, after four days and 15 hours, it's a one out of 10. Fuck, nice. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. And it, yeah. I mean, the one that... Nick's it's clapping, by the way, of. silently. <laughs> it's... Well, the one it's ahead of, number two, go down a tiny bit. Down a little bit more, a little bit more. Save the shot win 10,000 is on mm. 1.8 and it's yeah. above that right now. Nice. I mean, it's already on 1.5. 1. 5. 1.5. So that again, should have had a brand deal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Honestly, it happens so many times. Like you get a brand deal for a stinker and they're like, oh, you didn't really hit your targets. And then you get a new one. It's like goes clear and you didn't put it in it. You know what it is? It's because loads of brand deals don't, a lot of companies don't understand the thing of like, 
they'll go okay we want a video it's got to be at this date yeah and i'm like okay but that video for example i filmed that when did we film that start of december yeah. start of december we filmed it so if you told me in november okay we need this video out like we need a video before christmas mm. i can't get that video out before christmas no so that's why I, I enjoyed having at one point i had air up like for six months one one a month and i enjoyed that because i'm like okay i can plan like november's now yeah but then when they come in like they're like oh we need one by the 27th and it's like the 14th they're like well i just can't do that yeah and then you sacrifice quality yeah and then they're like oh the video didn't do too well and it's like yeah because no you shit. gave me a week <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah any brands out there that want to just like work with us you know gladly we'll do it because we'll give you the views you need and we'll give you the we'll also get you the stand-ups you need and stuff but you got to let us cook you know because we know our audience more than you do no offense so like i'm not sure why someone would take offense to that <laughs> <laughs> like eric's like oh, i'm angry but no um like we know how to talk to our audience you know we know how to put the brand like also when they give you like oh 60 seconds has to be in the first minute or three minutes I'm like why so i was going to talk about this yeah have you watched the latest two mr beast videos i haven't sorry go on, go on one of the latest go like mr beast's latest video that one and go like 13 you'll see him in like a shark tank or something here that's his wow. that's his brand deal yeah he's 13 minutes into a 60 17 minute video yeah and he'll know, and obviously, because he's so into in tune with YouTube, he'll know when the best point is for him to get the most views, to be like not ruin the retention, to also sell. You know, he, that. But like, how much do you think? Do you think he went that deal went down a massive percentage? Like, let's just say he earns a million dollars for a brand deal. Yeah. When he normally does it, first couple of minutes, whatever. Do you think that one is half a mil or do you think it's still still high because i think he's he's in a position to actually be like no i'm gonna run i'm gonna tell you how this works because he's the best biggest he has millions of views i think he'll say to them if you want the best amount and also his conversation won't be like ours you know which is crazy because you're obviously a big fucking youtuber but he <laughs> you know, what i'm saying is when, he, when we're chatting like through agents and stuff i think he'll be on, on the phone with her, whatever that brand is or his team and be like look if you want this brand deal we're going to get you the most sales the most sign up but it has to be at this point in the video because he can say i get 200 million views i get 100 million views yeah. video i'm telling you this is how it's done yeah i can't do that i can't say listen i'm telling you that this needs to be 30 minutes and i get like 60k and they're like huh you know what I, mean? <laughs> I, I honestly think he can run the oh there you go that one's 13 and a half minutes in that's the best way to do it man you know and, and I, I don't mind when they go oh mention in the first minute that you sponsored so this video is sponsored by cool okay but like don't give me the well i reckon do you reckon i'm starting to think maybe now what you need to do is go to a brand and say like uh that last one the island one mm. he goes right i'm gonna put it 13 minutes in but i'm going to be in a cage with sharks around me yeah and they they kind of go like what do you mean and he's like no one's going to click off yeah like yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to watch him be surrounded by sharks and talk about an ad. Yeah. Same with that one. I'm going to put the ad as we're trying to destroy his money. Mm -hmm. So they have to watch it. Yeah. Do you think as well, like he's so, he's really good with stats so he can actually say, I'll put it 13 minutes in. My average viewers after 13 minutes is. Yeah, but if he does that, it's still, uh, even that is still going to be so much lower though. It will be lower than. Like if he brings yeah. in stats like that, he is he is going to have to take a hit on the money. Because even if his average view duration on a 20 minute video is 17 minutes, the amount of people that are watching after 15 minutes is still lower than the start. Yeah. Whereas though, if, like you say, if he's doing it in a shark tank, if he's doing it when he's burning the money, he'll have more people actually watching the ad than he would yeah. in a start because he'll skip. So the retention is better early on for the video, but the retention for the ad is actually higher. Yeah. And also, again, ads are supposed to be like, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to want someone to sign up. It's not just how many views do you get on the ad. It's like how many people do you want to get to sign up, you know, which is really, you know, wow, look at that. This was last year. March uh, that's a cool. Uh, he, he said if your video is not getting 70% retention, you do something wrong. My vlogs obviously are really low, but that's probably cause, it's obviously because I'm not looking to optimize them, which is you're nice. You're not getting 70%. <laughs> God. <laughs> but listen, he is like, he is, gonna, he is he is completely obsessed much, with it. He has. How much do you reckon the what percentage? Premier League. Yeah, twenty-nine minute video. I'm gonna go forty-five percent, forty-seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way uh, that, that's pretty good for me, right? Give me, give me some more. <laughs> okay, my I, my most recent Reddit video that went out yesterday. How long is that? Um. Oh, I don't, I can't even see audience retention yet. Yeah, it's too new. Yeah. Okay, a game show, half an hour. Oh my god! Uh, actually, game show, half an hour. Ooh, 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 fifty-two. 48 and a half. Damn it. Should have gone. Damn it. 
the thing is, I think that's not that's that's never going to be content that. No, no, no. I mean, the retention. Of course, of course. Yeah, I mean. By the way, this pilot is a legend. He flew, he flew you down. In the most that was yeah that's a, yeah, <laughs> but how old am I? <laughs> I'll speak. <laughs> like we couldn't see anything. Yeah. Like he's going through a cloud and then we're like 10 meters off the floor. This video almost didn't happen, right? You were actually worried in the chat. I remember you like, I can't finish it. No, the video, the video was always happening. Like we were, we were flying down to Bournemouth. So we were always, we'd filmed most of it by Mm. that point. Mm. We've already done, you know, 14 clubs or something like that. Yeah. So it was already done. It's just a case of like, do we, what's the new target here? Because we were talking as well and we were like, do we, scrap the other stadiums yeah. and make it to the match and then it's like we failed the challenge we only got 15 out of 20 mm. or do you finish the challenge miss the match and you know we did all 20 but it took yeah hours. yeah sure sure and that's what i was trying to ask in the chat like which one which is a better ending finishing the challenge but missing the match or doing the match and i i think the best ending is just like yeah I just whatever happens good or bad just show the story right so that's why it's yeah i mean i think it worked with what we had yeah of like yeah i think missing the match worked and i i'm happy jj gave me that clip of like mm. uh, i just texted him and i was like can you do me a big favor can you just take a video of you with a seat next to you and just laugh that's it yeah he yeah. didn't uh, not understand why but he's he's honestly so good at that he's just he's just he's really a nice guy on to be yeah. fair yeah. We, we yeah yeah yeah, I'm happy that video was done. Oh, we met up as well. Yeah, we met a up. A long time ago. Yeah. But yeah, that video was a lot of fun. I want to do more stuff like oh, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's... Edit was really good as well. I really like the edit. The yeah, effects. Adam and Restrained. I, bro, Smash on up. your... The main channel Reddit video, just go to the start, Nick. That was so good. Oh, the start of the video. When, you, when you're walking behind, that hyped me up. No, the start of his new video. The Reddit. The Yeah, that one. Yeah, the very start of this video is so So sick. he puts the KSI... Quavo cut out out. Give him a little kiss. Yeah, and then he goes slow motion as his other self. That's so sick. <laughs> I was hyped. Yeah, restraints killed that. Then I clicked off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be doing more. I want to do. I want to try and get four four a month. Possibly. Yeah. Well, so that's what I I told you yesterday. I was filming two mention our videos because I also I hired Cal uh, does live to now do my uh main channel producing but then i went away in january so i was like i'm paying a guy to do, pretty much do nothing yeah. um, so he's been doing ideas for me and stuff i was like you know what? i need to just film stuff and also i want to overthink less if it's just bad oh well you know i'll, I'll get over it brand deals can just I, i'll figure it out so i was i filmed two yesterday um one was the tri- i'll just i will not spoil them but like they're not guaranteed bangers but you know we'll see well i like doing every now and then i want to do a challenge like the stadium video the arcade video yeah i like those where it's it could take 24 hours. It could take a little bit longer. It could take a lot mm-hmm. shorter, but you get like a proper sense of accomplishment when mm. you've done it. Yeah. But yeah. And then also you want the ones where it's like Reddit or like, you know, studio yeah. ones where you can actually just get that out. The Reddit, I'm trying to make less and less Reddit. Mm-hmm. I want it to be more and more vlog. Sure. So I want to try and slowly transition from like a 100% Reddit video to a 30% Reddit, 70% vlog. Well, can't the, can't the Reddits like dictate the vlogs? Can't you find that's things? What, that's what yeah, I do, yeah. 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 I, anything I... Anything I do that I think, okay, there'll be a clip from this. Like one of the recent Sidemen videos we filmed, I only got, it's only like a six second clip, but it's, you know, I can see the post from the Reddit and I can chuck that clip in. Yeah. And it makes the post, you kind of like get a, a BTS clip of yeah. that. C- couldn't you get, and this might be a bit like a bit cheap, but couldn't you get like Viz or Liam or someone to like go through the Reddit and if they see anything that matches with your vlogs to like interject that? So they could give you a list of like, look at this post, you look at it, and then and that can fit the vlog, because they they know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I mean, my Reddit doesn't get that many posts. Okay, I kind okay, of sure. I look at everything anyway. Okay, sure. And I sometimes I'll literally, the way I'll link stuff doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like it'll be you know, <laughs> okay, nice. They'll talk about the charity match, and I'll go, oh, I just went to some stadiums. You can <laughs> show a clip of my fo- my stadium video. Okay, yeah, that's smart. That's very smart. Yeah. Um, well, side men have had a huge announcement we have a massive one which yeah. wouldn't have made it into this podcast if we actually filmed it on tuesday so it's good that it's late yeah because you are now well you've signed a netflix deal Woo! come on <laughs> let's go which is huge man yeah this is also news to me it's kind of surreal yeah it's, it's surreal yeah so what tell us about it what is this 
Uh, well, I don't know what's actually been. Only a only a teaser's been yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I, I, can't, I, can't I don't think even that is like that's not been announced either, right? We had an, an initial teaser that all it was was what we put up of yeah. like you know sidemen, and then it turns to the Netflix logo. Yeah, that was sick. So that was a thing, of, and we were kind of like letting people speculate it of like, okay, what is it? Mm. People thought you know we've spoken about doing a locked in series type mm, thing. Mm. They thought it's that. Some people thought we were putting Sidemen Sundays on Netflix and mad. that was like our new thing. Man, that'd be mad. Yeah, that would've got so much hate. It would, of course. Yeah. People would've watched it, but it would've got yeah. hate. Uh, people thought we were gonna do a hide and seek on there. <laughs> mad, that's the biggest yeah. troll. <laughs> Psych. Um, so yeah, then we've ended up, um, we've got this documentary. Yeah. And I'm, I'm always a massive uh, skeptic of everything we do in terms of until I see it. Mm. So we filmed this whole thing and I was like, is it going to be that good? Like, are people going to care? That, you know? Oh, then, I was in it there. Yeah. Come on. We watched it. We had like a, just the side men and like one or two other people watched it and it was actually sick. Yeah. I was like, this is actually like, I kind of wanted to hate it. Yeah. In, in the group or in like the, the friendship group or whatever, I, I, there was a period of time where everyone was like, oh no, like yeah done this big thing but i don't really i'm not sure how i feel about it but then yeah i started the more i started to hear you guys were actually nah it's come together yeah maybe, maybe it was the uh, maybe a new edit or the way it was put together well, we hadn't seen an edit by that point we'd just seen what we'd filmed yeah yeah, yeah. And okay. obviously like for example if you do an interview for it i haven't seen that yeah i haven't seen anyone do it but also you did hear like can i say a lot of the questions were quite personal that i got yeah. asked or that yeah, like yeah, yeah. got asked you know there's a lot so, of personal stuff there but i, I guess they just do that to then to get everything, they might, they might not use that. Or yeah, it's probably interview techniques to like get you in. get everything and then build the story after. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, I, 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 yeah, I'm probably a different. If I make it into the into the edit, I'm probably look, I look like a different person. Yeah, that was, I was probably double the weight. I mean, Josh has his old hair. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> look, look at Josh, <laughs> ugly man. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Not, you, were you there when we watched it? I was. I was. I think it's been edited, re-edited since then, hasn't it? I've been told. It has been a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, not like massively. I think also we. I think another reason why we were all skeptical at first, like we filmed it all, thought there's a lot of stuff here. It's going to sound like a well, it is a massive shot. JJ's documentary. Mm. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I, wasn't, I thought it was decent, to be honest, but yeah. I think I think they missed out a lot. They tried to go his this huge bundle into this short thing. It told too much of KSI, not JJ. You know. Yeah, but it was also they covered music, family, and boxing, right? Is that the three things they covered? Did they cover music? Yeah, they did. Yeah, music did the festivals. Tour yeah. There, yeah, well, they did the whole tour and the festivals and stuff. Oh yeah. Then they had the family stuff, and then they had boxing. And I was like, each one of those, you could make an hour and a half episode on. Mm. So make it like three parts and yeah. cover it way more in depth. Yeah. And then you also could have covered the YouTube side. So I think we saw that, and you know, it was a bit like, oh. Mm -hmm. is, can we make well ours especially on seven of you, you know, yeah it's hard to get personal. cover like you know oh this is josh by the way he's yeah. he's organized that's it not, not, not <laughs> his simon not his vic you know, yeah. yeah but it was it's actually turned out unreal so how much creative control did you guys have for this just quite show? a lot mm. um we also wanted to let them do that thing because we would end up making it a youtube video not yeah. a netflix so so creative control wise you they filmed what they wanted to film they asked what they wanted to ask and then you kind of thought... if anything was yeah we we had full like you know no don't we don't want to do that sure that's, that's yeah. good to have yeah i think like, like when people have this creative control thing they like you, you don't want you still want to shape it a little bit like you know as in like oh don't please don't put that in to be public in front of everyone yeah more that rather than like sure make it however you want tell the story you want to tell but don't put me and my mom having this conversation in yeah. please you know stuff like that there was actually um i'm sure i can say it they obviously as you said they ask questions that don't end up making it in mm. they had a couple questions there was one thing where we're sat at this table and they just put a small bag in front of each of us and it it wasn't in the version I've seen anyway, because we all literally said afterwards, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they they give us each a puzzle, uh, as in a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> of about 15 pieces. Yeah. And they just go, so we're sat at this table, we all have the bag and we, they go, okay, go ahead. And we're like, what do you mean? We don't know what this is. We open it, pour out some jigsaw puzzles. We just do it. And I'm like, oh, mine's a picture of JJ. Oh my God. And we're like, we don't know what this 
That there's, is, there's nothing to this. That's like modern, like new school hipster, like way of storytelling. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, and is what does it that like, mean to you? <laughs> well, then, like, I think I finished mine first and I was like, oh, is it going to be, you know, things that mean a lot to us that, you know, through YouTube, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then I think Toby's was just like, I don't know, like a suit or something. Yeah. And it was like, well, I hope that's not. <laughs> is it, isn't it more about like that in your subconscious talk? Because if your brain's engaged in doing a puzzle and then- Oh, we didn't talk. We oh, just you didn't did, talk, you just we did the puzzle. We did the puzzle. Right, I don't see the point. That was probably yeah. the intention, but sometimes it doesn't hit like that. Yeah. Sometimes, so yeah. we did the puzzle and then when we don't get it, like well, what's happened? And then they were kind of like, okay, we'll take the, take the puzzles off. Okay, now we'll have this talk. And then that part's in. Right, <laughs> but right, the yeah. puzzle part, yeah. yeah, didn't know what was going on. And then we also had an interview each and they asked, hundreds of questions and uh whenever we do a side men shoot we have you know like a rider mm -hmm. like so what you get to every single shoot they just like a musician has yeah, a rider yeah. it's in their dressing room you can say oh i want these drinks the, this food this this our riders are all basic as hell mm -hmm. we said mine is i want one red bull <laughs> yeah um jj's is prime maybe some grapes yeah. ethan's is a protein bar Who's who That's, has the Dairy Dunkers? So that was one time we uh, our rider kept getting bigger and bigger with not through us just it kept people just kept getting more and more food and it became junk food. So we went let's get some healthier food. What do you want? Everyone was naming things. I said oh I'll chuck a Dairy Dunker in there. They've been there since. Yeah. And when we did this interview, I start off I I sit down and they go oh Simon we have something for you. <laughs> and I go, okay, what, like, what is it? I don't know if this is good. And they give me a Dairyly Dunker. <laughs> That's amazing. And I go, thanks. And they go, oh, we've, we've been told you have to have this. And I went, no. <laughs> like, that is fucking I was cold. like, what, what do you mean? And they went, oh, they asked, you know, we asked what, what should everyone have? And they said, oh, some Dairyly Dunkers for Simon, a Red Bull, yeah. or, uh, bananas, uh, whatever. And I went, no, it was about nine months ago. I just said, can we get some baby bells? And a they thought you were like a diva for like uh, dairy dunkers. Like, yeah. where's my dunker? Where's <laughs> us? And they were like, do you want them? And I was like, S sure. sorry, but no. Okay, sure, really. sure, yeah. <laughs> I will say, I love that you've done that. Because I, when I go to Simon shoots, I always look for the dunkers. <laughs> really? Yeah, I love them. I love little jumbo little... tubes. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need to be fair, but the no, tubes the are jumbo good. tubes are the best ones. The, the, yeah, the ones with like chives in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really yeah. good, yeah. I used Better to have them the as basic kid. breadsticks. Oh, but uh, the breadsticks are the worst ones. I, yeah. I like the little Ritz ones though. They're cool. Okay, I haven't had them. Oh, well, basic. <laughs> Clearly not a dearly connoisseur like me. <laughs> what was the decision to put it on Valentine's Day? Just that's when it's cool. that's when it's out. I love the idea because like there's so many like there's gonna be so many guy fans of like Sidemen in bed or watch, like with their girlfriend like oh what should we watch tonight and the boys <laughs> are like Sidemen documentary please. Well, it's been like we didn't film. It wasn't like. Netflix approached us, mm -mm. so it's it's been like a yeah 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 discussion, yeah. and that's it's landed on that date. Yeah, okay, so, cool, cool. Yeah, well, I'll be watching it alone on Valentine's Day. Nice. You're not gonna watch it, are you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but it was more of a way of saying I'll be alone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wait, it comes out on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. You gonna watch it? Uh, I've, well, I've seen it. Well, you just said it's probably oh, yeah. edited. Yeah, I'll watch, watch it. it. I'll, pro I'll probably watch it. Yeah. You have to watch it on Netflix. It's like a it's like a thing, man. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm in it, so probably not. Wow. You only watch stuff you're in? Yeah, 100%. Damn. You're not in it? No, I'm not in it. Why? Uh, no, I no, I, I don't care if I'm in it or not. But I do it sounds remember, like you do. I do remember watching it. Sounds it. Like you it really sounds like you care, really care. Yeah. No, I don't. No, no, no. I do remember watching it and going, oh, well, I want to be in a bloody Netflix documentary. Of course, that would be cool if I featured in it in somewhere, even in the background. But I remember <laughs> watching it and thinking, oh, Bro, broke so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bro went from now, I don't care. I don't care if I'm in it. I don't care. <laughs> Obviously, sometimes I watch it. <laughs> it would be really cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Of course, that would be really cool. But yeah, I didn't remember watching it and being like, oh my God, I might be in this scene because there I am in the background. And it really conveniently cut around me both times. I was like, fuck's sake. Maybe you were wearing a hoodie that had like a big brand logo or something, aren't they? Oh, yeah, that's why. Or some not because I'm racial terms. I've, I've like already been on Netflix do. before. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I've already been on Netflix. Yeah, you're big time. My name's in the credits of Power. Oh. Wait, what else have I been in? No, I was thinking JJ's documentary, but that was Prime. Prime, yeah. I've been on Prime, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's the other one? Disney. I'd love, I'd love to be on Disney. I was in JJ's documentary, right? Yeah. So I've been on Prime. Yeah, yeah, I've been okay. on Prime. You've been on Prime anyway, you know? Had I? Probably. What? I don't know. I've quite... been on Netflix and Google Maps. Why were you on Netflix? Google Maps? <laughs> <laughs> Why were you on Netflix, Nick? Uh, I was sitting in the crowd for a Kevin Hart. Oh, you can uh, see the top so, so was I. I was, you, I was there. Yeah, that doesn't so count. I was on a Michael McIntyre thing. No, no, no. You can't see like you. 
You have to at least say a word. I, I clap. Well, then you're not on Netflix. I say a word in this. Oh, no. no. You no. were saying you're in the my credits. Song song. Is on, my song's on the credits. Okay. But the song ends. The, the, the show ends with my verse. Baywatch was on Netflix. There you go. Oh, that's I, Touchdown. You're not on that. I don't, I don't, no. I don't, no. <laughs> but I was on the credits for Power. Like My song was on the credits. But the, the, the show ends as my verse starts. <laughs> oh, so you didn't say a word? No. <laughs> so you're not on it. But I don't know if it does. Like, I don't know if it skips the next. I don't know. But doesn't I know. Count. I need to check. If doesn't I doesn't count. Okay. What's the, what's the process of uh, selling a documentary to Netflix like? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, you, don't, you had no input whatsoever. Uh, no, we did have some input. You sit in a room with with Mr. Netflix. We had and you start we had input. Numbers. One, I don't know what we can say, and two, we had literally all said like, Netflix is the goal. Like, you, if you make a piece of content that you're like, we want to go somewhere, Netflix is oh, of top in it. Mm. So, um, yeah, it was always if they if they were down, we were down. Mm. Um, if the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> They've taken me off Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> they update it like nonstop. <laughs> well upset. <laughs> Nick's fuming, mate. Well, we, you go. No, no, you go. I was going to say, um, Tyler had a friend over the other day. Cool one. And I, I came into the kitchen mm. and she just randomly turned to me and was like, Simon, do you have a bucket list? And I was like, not really. But now I'm I like, that's Since then, I've been thinking of things like I wouldn't call it a bucket list of like I have to do this before I die. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not to shoot you down here, but let's do this tomorrow. Let's, okay. let's do our bucket list. Next, let's create next one. week's. Yeah, next week's podcast. Sorry, next week's podcast. Yeah, so it's not it's not a full it's not a bucket list of like I have to do this before I die, or so I'm going to be really upset. Mm. It's just like uh, what I'd like to do. Okay. If I could do it, it'd be cool. Wait, well, let's talk about it. Okay. Because remember that one we did with John where it was like the 30 things you have to do before you yeah. die, Esquire, female, Australian. Like yeah. we couldn't relate to that. Yeah, that like, was, yeah, that was, yeah. Things okay, you'd want to, things you'd want to achieve. Yeah, let's do that. You know what I mean? Mm. So. Because I feel like we're I'll also achieve, a bit. That'll be, yeah, achieve or achieve or do. No, both. Okay. Both. So it could be like, uh, we'll go through it tomorrow, but oh, like, for Nick example. Nick has something there, look. Ready for man. us. For example, go to Australia's online. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, you know, I'm 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 very interested in in yours because you've you've already done a lot. So if someone like you, what well, you know? Yeah, well, we'll we'll go through that on next week's yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one. I want to hear from everyone as well. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if you're here, but prepare we it. We want to hear everyone's. What I will say then is, shall we do the yes Discord? Yes, yeah. The, Let's go. The, so every week, guys, we're now going to start interacting with you guys way more. We used to do it with the What's Good sections. We also used to do the email. Let's do that again as well. Let's bring the emails back, man. The email was, I'm going to make a new email because the email was so confusing. It was like, what's, what good podcast? <laughs> it didn't make sense. Breaking um, news. Yeah. Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes and joining Ferrari. Oh my goodness me. 25. Yeah, that's so all I have to add. more season. I've, Wait, I've, so who's going? Sainz. To Mercedes? No, we don't know yet. But it's wow. still a year away. So That's quite cool. Season. It needs a bit of a shake up, man. You know, anyway, interesting. Super duper interesting. Well, cool okay so we got the what's good section yeah this i have is no like light. the classic yeah so shall, shall i answer it and then you well you can i'll hear your answer and i'll sure, argue if sure, i if sure. i disagree so for those who don't know this and who have ne has never seen this before nick will tell us a thing that the discord have decided to ask us and i will we'll say whether it's good or not that's it first uh yeah overrated like is yeah, it sure yeah sure, is sure. it as good as yeah, yeah yeah people say all right nick uh popping newly brought bubble wrap that's, that's elite. That is elite. That's very good. Yeah. My light is on. I'm also a little bit erect right now. <laughs> I love doing that. Although I hate just doing it like this. You know, people do it. Depends it depends the size of it. The little ones are fine. The like big that. ones, yeah. No, the, the big ones you do like this. And the big ones, I stand on it. The little ones. The big ones, like, I put on the floor and roll around on it. No, the little ones, though, I need to like fold it no. and then stand on it so I get like. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Whereas like, if I just do this, it's like. No, but the tiny ones are amazing. The tiny ones, like they're not the normal ones, the ones that are really small that give you a bit of like resistance. Horror. Horror take. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but that's light's definitely on for that. For sure. My light's really on. Light's erect. Yeah, yeah. Sightseeing. Crap! I uh, so one bad. million percent agree. I hate sightseeing. Yeah. I went on this trip and everyone's like going it was in Dallas. They go, oh, go see the giant enormous, enormous eye. Google, <laughs> it's crap. It's so small. And you couldn't even go on it. Can you I could... throw, throw in a caveat? Yeah. Man-made sightseeing versus natural sightseeing. Is there all a difference? Dead. All dead. All, all dead. All dead. No, no, okay, no. I think man-made's dead. Looking at, no, 
there's a difference between okay actual Just google it google it yeah the gigantic eye actual sightseeing where you're looking at a beautiful view that's not as different it's still bad though but you can do it anyway no i love doing it. i love looking into the depth and being like like josh that, that video like like no but that's different i okay i think you can have a yeah look at that they've that's made crap. that look cool and also you, you can't go on the grass if i could go on the grass and sure but yeah yeah they I think it, when you go somewhere like Josh's one, mm. I think he's just gone out and he's gone. He's stopped for a second. He's gone like, "Oh, this looks sick." I'm talking about he that. hasn't. He hasn't gone sightseeing. Yes, he's seen a nice view and taken a picture. I agree. Video. When you go somewhere, also I hate photo ops where it's like, "Okay, go here to take a nice photo." Yeah. No, I will go to somewhere nice that I found and take a photo. I'll yeah. find beauty in what I'm seeing, not what you told me to go see. So, okay, yeah. like if if you said, "Let's go climb Snowden." Mm-hmm. The view at the top of it, right? Clear day. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. right? I'm not climbing that mountain to see a view. Yeah. Oh, see, I am. Yeah. No. I, yeah, when I I'm up that. there, I'll go no like, ah, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture because it's like the view is a memory to me of climbing it. Climbing is the I journey. I couldn't give a yeah. shit about what it looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. could be a wasteland. Yeah. Hmm. What about that Switzerland one? I swear you like these views are sick. They are, but I, I wouldn't go there for that. This, I went there for the video. <laughs> that, that, that's still on my video. Is that a, is shit. Yeah, that's a mural on Google Maps, five star rated. And I Googled what to do in Austin and they said, go to see the mural. Yeah. I walked past that the day before thinking, where the fuck's the mural? I got there the next day. I'm like, what? But that, that, I, I get it because people take photos like with their loved ones and stuff. I don't have one, so <laughs> I'm joking. I'll take half of it one day. <laughs> be like, Your dad used to love this mural. Um, but no, sightseeing, actually like Eiffel Tower is, is crap. Eiffel Tower, like, Especially people go up the Alpha Tower, right? You can't even see it. No, I know. You go up it so you can't see yeah. it. And then you're looking at it. I, I think I would get more pleasure out of viewing a really nice photo of it than yep. seeing it. Yep. I can go on AI and like generate the Alpha Tower. Okay, Ooh. not that. Not that. I don't agree. So wait, have you been to the top of the Alpha Tower? <laughs> yes. Not the very tippity top, but I've been to the higher up part. When we I say that. To go to the very top, you know? Oh. The very top. Yeah. With Mr. Beast. That's, oh, that would be good. Yeah, I would we go to Paris and be like, "Oh, cool, there's the Eiffel Tower." But I won't go and I don't need to go and stand next to it and be like, "Ching ching, ching photo." I'm just gonna go and see it. Oh, cool, it's there. Or go and see like the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, I've seen it. But I don't have to make my day around it. I would rather experience the city or like experience what it's like. So yeah, Nick. That's see, a look, you see that picture of the bottom, that left one on the yeah. left of the whole thing. No, no one right. That. Yeah. Cool, I've seen it now. Yeah, yeah, and it's actually- it's, <laughs> I don't need to go see it. They photograph it way cooler than that's it actually is. That's better than the view I'm gonna get on the day. It's, it's gonna a, be gr a bit gray on the day. It's quite small as well. That's, that's the equivalent of saying, why watch a whole YouTube video and you can just do it all in a short? No, it's not. No, it's different. Because we, 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 we've, we've decided it's not. No. I get it. It's also, it's no, actually I'm getting it's, it's one, simmering. I'm getting that one second of enjoyment on this and that one second of enjoyment on when I see it live. Right, but when I maybe you get more of a sense of scale, you get the, like, the atmosphere around it. You get the put a person in the image, find an image with the person in. No, but Look, but go on the one left of it where you see the whole city up. Oh, right, that's not right. Yeah, that that. Look, wow, I can see how big it is. Yeah, it's quite small. It's also like, like quite dirty as well. It's like yeah, that thing's falling off it. Yeah. It's not cool. Anyway, what's the next one, Nick? Big no. Yeah. That's offensive. Don't even ask us that ever again. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. So you see when you were like, oh, when you go on holidays and it's like, I didn't have to go do anything that yeah. people didn't want to do. I think I, if I went on holiday with you though, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd have that because I think I'm the same as you. Yeah. I would happily walk around I think so. and just walk in something. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go see That's why sightseeing. I like doing cyber videos. Because you know when we do those ones where like when we went to, where did we go? Florence, was it? Yeah. We kind of just messed around and stuff. Yeah. We did go in a self museum. I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure, that's not the only thing I do on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> just, he's just drawn to them no but like when you're on video you, you're not there to be on a holiday so you just go and do stuff yeah. I like that kind of concept next one Nick um, selfie museums fuck off <laughs> <laughs> uh, KSI streaming don't know yet so he has mentioned it and uh, well he potentially has streamed already by the time probably this probably has out. yeah he, was, he talked about doing one today yeah okay well we, we have to see because many things could happen he could old days Elite. Yeah. He's one of that. He actually is one of the best streamers. Well, but entertainers. As blank. he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I think it depends what he wants to do because if he just, if he plays Dragon Ball Legends, I'm not watching. <laughs> well, I, oh, I, want him to, I want him to do what he wants to do. I want him to be natural. So yeah, if, yeah, if, if him playing Dragon Ball Legends is him being comfortable, go for it. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it though. Yeah, I agree. I, but I, I don't want him to. I don't want him to start trying to find this new thing just to put energy into just because he 
doesn't yeah, have Yeah, don't try and be like Aiden. Don't try and be like yeah. Speed. Just do you, please. Yeah. But also, don't be too you that you just cancel yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because that, you're, you're alive, bro. But that one, we're, we're, the light is dim right now because we can't tell. But, but obviously, I want him to do well and I'm happy for him. I'm but happy. we don't know. We don't so know. light don't know. is... Yeah, light's dim. Yeah, light's is flickering. He, is, he, is he going for like a Kai Speed vibe? Is that what you think? I don't think so. We'll okay. see. Yeah, I think that was the original idea. And then he slowly realized, one, it's different in America. Like he can't walk around because England is so small. Like London is so small. It's, I, when, I, when I came back to vlogging here, I hated it actually. I like, liked being- Well, more as in if he's live streaming, oh. everyone will know where he is in 20 minutes. Yep. yep. They'll be there. Yep. You can't do it. No. Next one. Uh, jumping on a trampoline in the rain. That's so specific. <laughs> I like jumping on trampolines, but I don't like the idea of it. When I'm on it and I'm jumping, I'm like, ha, 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 this is so much fun. Giggly, yeah. But I, if someone's got a trampoline there, I'm not going to run and get on it. But when it's raining. I, I've never experienced that. Light off. Yeah, like. I'm sorry, light also, off. Also, trampolines are quite dangerous. <laughs> I can tell you're a dad. <laughs> I don't want to slip on it. Uh, mobile gaming. Ooh. I believe that's like on a phone. Not I'm going to go. I'm going to go light on for games that are designed to be on the phone, like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, not for like COD Mobile, FIFA Mobile. I agree. I'm not. I'm too old for that. I think. Yeah. If someone goes, oh, I play PUBG Mobile. I'm like, you're a fucking loser. Yeah. I think you might be a pedo. <laughs> 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 Sorry. But about, like, what about I, Pokemon Go? Designed for the phone. Yeah. We we allow that. Does, yeah. Phone games, light on. They're so addicting now. But I games don't play that them. have been put onto the phone. Light oh, off. so I was in, this is a fun story. I was in the barber's the other day and I get my hair cut and apparently I checked my phone and I had butt dialed Chris MD and he was like, bro, I think you just butt dialed me. Uh, you were talking to some guy about getting a fade. <laughs> I was like, okay, ooh. And I had called someone else called Jash and I don't know who this person is. So I messaged him saying, just, I, I think I butt dialed you, but they didn't answer. I was like, I butt dialed you, sorry if I did. And they're like, who's this? I'm like, well, well, who's this? I'm like, I don't know who you are either. And I was like, Randolph. And they were like, how did you get my number? I was like, how did you get my number? I'm like, who are you? <laughs> um, so then they were like, I have no idea who you are. And I was like, I don't know who you are. So I was trying to find it, bro. They were from my Clash Royale clan. Oh my God. And we had started a WhatsApp back in the day to make sure people didn't miss their battles. Oh my God. So I was God. like, oh bro, sorry, it's from Clash Royale. He's like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, one more, what's good? One more. Uh, holidays where you stay in the UK, not for videos. Mm, that's too that's too broad, man. Because it could be like, you could go to Wales, Wales, you know, or it could be like a, I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm I'm a light off. I like going away. I like abroad. going out, uh, Yeah. But I love family holidays where we go and get like a a house and all the siblings come, all the nieces and nephews come. I like that. I like them, but I I'm just I don't know. For myself, light off. For my family, light on. Because I would do that for more for them than me. Yeah, like I'd, yeah, I'd go to one, but I. If I'm going to organize one, I'd always... I, yeah, light off. Light yeah. off. I'm not going to vlog in Newcastle. <laughs> uh, let's do one more what's good. Yep. I'm not sure if I said that already, but... Yeah, one more. Last one. This is the last and what's Nick, good. Nick, pick one that's like one word, like one one thing. Um, Domino's. Pizza. <laughs> Added an extra word. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you thought Domino's, Domino's. Oh, I'm going to... I do love it, but I'm going to turn my light off. For Papa John's? Not even, just... Oh, but hold on. You've married an Italian now, so you're like, actually, it's not actually that pizza. <laughs> pizza can't, you know, they can't call that pizza. No, no, no. The last two or three Domino's I've had have let me down. They're so greasy, but they're great, though. I, I'm, I'm light on. Domino's is great. It is pa good. I, I prefer Papa John's, but... But I'm also like, I'm not trying to eat healthy. Like, I'm not just like, oh, vegetables and greens and all that, but... I really do try and avoid Domino's. Yeah, I, I, for me too these days. I think back in the day, I would love the Domino's, but Domino's for me is like the ultimate like cheat kind of yeah. meal. Cause you That's can have- the one I'd have after a charity match where I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've literally done any, any training I've done, it was for this. Mm. I've done it and I've had a really like energetic day. Yeah. Now I deserve it. Cause then I, I, anytime after that, no. Because you, you can still go like McDonald's and still actually have a quite healthy day if that's your one bad thing. And also yeah. you can choose something good from there or you can go like Shake Shack or that kind of thing. But Or, or even a Chinese or an Indian, you can do that quite healthily as well. But a Domino's pizza is like, okay, I'm going to literally be feral tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna be on my bed on the sofa like- Might just roll around <laughs> naked in the pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a little piggy tonight. Okay, <laughs> and we'll- <laughs> garlic and herb dip on myself. <laughs> yeah. So guys, check the Discord out because we're going to do loads more of these in the future. And we'll do it longer next time, but- we have got filming after this, so we have to be quite quick. One more section we're going to do, though, is we asked you guys to create fake sayings yeah. that could be real, and then we're going to guess what they mean. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm excited for these. This is really fun. Okay, let's go. Um, so you've got the other side of the fence may not be painted the same color. <laughs> I think, so we, this is a fake saying. We have to come up with well, what it means. Someone made that up. Yeah. Uh, in the Discord. Oh, that's great. That's so we got to- I think you can shorten and optimize the words. We, we've got to say what it means. Yeah. So I the other side of the fence might be painted a different color. Yeah. I think you just mean, it's just perspective on life. Yeah, so your perspective, it's the same fence. Yeah. But your perspective on life might yeah. be different than yours. Yeah. You know, oh, this happened to both of us. Mm. How do you, how do how I view it might not be how you view it. Well, I can say actually I feel like the reason I'm quite happy right now and, and excited for the future in a way where I could be really upset is that I actually like it's like a, a new lease now of life. So I could I, I am changing the colour of my fence. See, I think you've changed it the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> I think it has to be someone else's point of view because it's their side of the fence. Yeah, but now I'm looking at the, I've gone. I've gone to my neighbor's house. You bought their house. Yeah, I bought their house. Swap houses. Yeah, we swap okay. houses. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I I didn't want to, but I I have. Okay. That's okay. Saying. Who do you do, have? Who you, who said that? Uh, I don't, but I can. Yeah, yeah. That's we fine. We'll have it on screen. screen. We'll yeah. Put it on the screen. Yeah. Damn, Nick. Nick was like, let me take that. I don't care who you <laughs> yeah. are. But in that the was, future, guys, we will give you that the props. was Nick Minter. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Um, poking the bear with a foam finger. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I like this. Who created this? This is sick. Poking I the bear with, with a foam finger. finger. I know what that sits in my mind. Go on. I think that's like poking the bear is like, you know, yeah. slowly winding someone up, right? Yeah. Poking the bear with a foam finger is like where you're saying stuff where they don't realize. That's like me and John. I'm poking John with a foam finger. He knows. No, I think you're doing it with a dagger most. Of yeah. <laughs> I think it's like, oh, if, okay. I, if, I said to, if I said to like JJ, something about um it's like a backhanded compliment oh so i'm saying something that he's kind of gone like oh yeah and he doesn't realize that i'm actually oh. poking the bear but i'm doing it so softly okay cool know. I'm, I'm seeing it the other way i'm seeing it more like a, a big bear there and i'm like play fighting i'm like okay i'm gonna poke you now but in a nice way okay so you're seeing it as like a insulting them but in a funny yeah like yeah a, like, a like, me, like me and john so i'm like, I'm like okay. oh you suck but actually i'm like you're great you know it's like <laughs> poking the bear okay. with a little phone one which one do you reckon? Uh, it's more Randy's, I reckon. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not real, John. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> See, I feel like it feels like it's someone who's poking the bear, but like they're not. They feel like they're doing a big thing by doing it, but they're not really. You know what I mean? They're not. Yeah. They're, they're, not, they're not giving it all. They're not going hard. At okay. Yeah, I get that. I get that. They want the credit, but they're not yeah. really doing it. Uh, another one. Yep. Uh, not every kitchen drawer has cutlery. My apartment came furnished and in the drawer is, is dividers for the cutlery. It doesn't fit in the dividers, the cutlery <laughs> they gave me. So now there's another tray on top of my like, like countertop with all the... <laughs> Not all kitchen drawers have cutlery. I feel like this one's about assumptions. You shouldn't make assumptions about things. Yeah, I also low-key feel like it's saying like not everyone's switched on up there. Like John. Yeah. Stop poking the bear with the phone finger. I, I, I don't love this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This one, that one, that one kind of hates. Whoever wrote that, <laughs> that, that was, sucks. That was my one. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, Nick, no joke. No joke. That one sucked. <laughs> oh, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that was so oh, no. good. That gives me faith for the Discord, it though. It means don't make yeah. assumptions. Don't make assumptions. <laughs> that <laughs> sucked. Bro, <laughs> <That sucked>. slip <laughs> that one in. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. The toilet is always cleaner at home. Who was high? This guy, this person was high. The, the toilet's on. I no, it's not though. No, but it's a phrase. <laughs> it's it's a it's like the grass is always greener on the other side. It's not. Okay, yeah. Well, if that's what they mean, then yeah. I think it's just the same as that. Because it's, like, uh, you, no, it's different. It's. I think it's your. I think that's just your used to home comforts. Okay, sure. So like, but I'm, like portaloos. Okay, it can be gross at festivals, football games, toilets are gross. But most places you go, like a re uh, service station, it's gonna be clean. Because they, they have to clean every... Do you clean your toilet every day? You probably don't. I do, yeah. Because I leave skids, so... I... No, that's not cleaning it. That's, no. just, that's just, you know... Do you bleach it every day? No. Well... But I think it's I think it's your toilet... What was it? Your toilet's... The, toilet's... Always, the toilet is always cleaner at home. I think it's like you're used to home comforts. So, like, sure. if you ask most people, oh, oh, what's the comfiest bed? They'll always say, oh, my bed at home Yeah, no, I best. get that. Yeah. And then everyone else will hate it. Yeah. And it's like your toilet isn't actually the cleanest, but for you, the cleanest toilet is always the one at your home. I feel that. I hear you. Half, you know, you feel me? Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. I like the first one we had the best. That was so good. What was the first one again? Uh, first one was the fence. Yeah, I like that one. I like the fence. That was one. deep. Very that was deep. Uh, keep these deep, guys. You know. Yeah. 
Well, they're, they're not real. So they're only they're deep if we make them deep. True, actually true. Like, <laughs> give us the, give us the potential for them to be deep. Well, the first two can become real, like for sure. Yeah. yeah, and the cutlery one probably. No, <laughs> the cutlery one was actually so bad that I was almost tempted to tell you to ban whoever did that. <laughs> not really, not really, not really, not really. Go on, give us another. Um, when life gives you melons, you might be dyslexic. That's just that's just that's a classic. Yeah, that's, that's that's plagiarism. Um, it's not about how clean the dishes are; it's about how wet the sink is. Is it yours again? No, no, I only did one. Pro loves kitchen. It's not about how clean the dishes are, it's about how wet the sink is. I See, think I, that's I, a good fake one, though. I saw this one in the Discord, and everyone liked that one. Yeah, everyone that's was a good, like... Up. It's because it doesn't mean anything. It's yeah. stupid. So it's not how... What is it again? It's not how clean the dishes are, it's how wet the sink is. <sighs> What's I trying to say, though? I feel like it should be dirty, the dishes are. Nah. It's like preparing for something. So the more full the sink is, means you've done more. So you've cleaned more dishes. Is that what you're trying to say? Or the what... Fullness is in the water being full or the wet the sink is. Oh shit, yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's no full. No. How I think it's is? it doesn't matter if you've done the task. It's about how you left the situation. Okay. <laughs> so it, so it doesn't matter how clean so it they do, are. as in like if I've if you say to me, Oh, make ten videos, doesn't matter if I've made the ten videos, I've cleaned the dishes mm. if I've killed 10 people to do it. I've left the sink wet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, yeah, you had me in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> then you just went really weird. No, I, I think it's more like, okay, it doesn't matter how clean the dishes are, but it's just how wet it is. So it's, you've tried. So it doesn't matter if you've made 10 videos, you've, okay. made, you've made six. Okay. It doesn't, matter if you've, it doesn't matter if you've done a good session at the gym, you've gone. Yeah, you rescued it. I'll, 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 I'll one. Yeah, there you go. Okay. He's not going to shag you. I want him to. <laughs> Maybe I might shag him. He's been nice. <laughs> He's been really nice. Yeah, we're, we're starting to like each other. I like it. Okay, last one. Um, if, if this is a really bad one, just say and we'll move. We will, don't worry. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, the peanut always crunches the butter. Oh, okay, this could be deep. If you are allergic to peanuts, this is a really bad one. At the end of the day, the peanut always crunches the butter. This one's making me really angry. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't tell why. Good. That's, this is it, start, a good last it starts one. off really nicely and it just like goes too cringe. The peanut will always crunch the butter. Is, that, is it like a comment on... That's well, about the people downfalls. People like peanut butter because of the crunchiness. Yeah. And it's like kind of pointing out if there's two people in a situation, one of them's always the one that makes it the best. I think it's about the downfall of society, you know. It's about... Uh, this, is, this is like... This is bad. This is about um, sure. plagiarism. Yeah. And... The uh, the circumference of Shakespeare's face. I think it is as well. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've got a re really big ex existential crisis right now. <laughs> what so you guys can't see it, but look over there, right? Look at the computer setup. Yeah, the, the, the interface is red, the cable's red, the Ethernet cable's red. Nick's drink is red, and then the, the his the, socks are red. Yeah, and then look at the the hard drive for the camera's red. Just freaking me out. Why is there so much red over there? Okay, these phrases have got to him. We're gonna yeah, call let's, it. We're there. gonna end. Yeah, Th thank you guys for watching. <laughs> no, uh, you got check the Discord for more questions. <laughs> For next week's. Yeah. And join in. And uh, we'll be back to normal next week as well. Yeah. Posting yeah. normally. We will. We will. Love you all. No set for a while. Sorry. No set though. Yeah. <laughs> peace. Peace. Peace.